support, she's fine. She's still living. She's just, the, the support is there to keep her alive more than she's already alive. It's like, that's kind of what she was used for. That's what she's made for, which I think is fine. Like, Dessie is broken, but I don't really know why they designed her this way. Like, she is, like, the most busted unit in the game for some reason. For some reason, POTUS decided, oh yeah, let's just make a unit that just is absolutely game-breaking. And now we have to make a counter to, which is what Behemoths were added for. They were added to basically make Dazzling not as relevant as she is, which obviously didn't work, because she still works in a lot of Behemoth savings. At least in my experience, she can still work. As, like, as long as the Behemoth isn't immune to her, she's fine. And plus, her curse is really long, so it's very easy to be like, oh, you debuff. Nope, not, not anymore. You don't do toxic against her. She doesn't... That just doesn't work. Dazzling's basically a the type of unit who's immune to everything. I believe the only debuff she is not immune to is, like, Toxic. But then, again, you could just get, you just curse, and then it'll work. All you have to do is use curse, and then bam. All, all you have to do is use her curse. She literally just delete the, the delete the Toxic from existence. She pretty much perma curses Papu. I've used her against Papu. She, Papu is nothing. Like, Dastly is an absolute wrecker when it comes to everything. It's, she's an insanely good unit. Personally, I don't really see why people don't hype her up still. She's just stupid. She still is, even with Fono out. Like, she's still... I f and I feel like a lot of people hype up, Oh, F Dark Fono is better than Matama. It's like, not real. Okay, how I see it is, yeah, he has a better LD. He has Curse Immunity. But his slow is like 2 seconds. And his attack rate is 5. So his uptime is less than... It's like 33% uptime. And then you put on the top, he has Surge, but his Surge is so inconsistent. So when you're trying to hit that Surge, it doesn't always seem to work. And especially for my experience on him, his Surge never manages to land more than like one, like once. And when it lands, it's like, oh, tiny damage. It's And then people hype up his DPS. I mean, I guess splitting his DPS, he still has really good range. But compared to Fono... His DPS isn't as impressive. It's like, Fono is impressive because his massive damage absolutely escalates the amount of DPS he can disperse. Like, Fono has like 4k DPS. He has a 3-part multi-hit, which divides it into 3, which means he has 4k DPS per hit. And he generally hits 2 hits. Dark Fono does have more consistent hitting range, but also Dark Fono has a lot of issues that drive in him, which is one of them being, why is this guy so hard? One of them being the fact that Dark Fono has, like, less range, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? Dark Fono has less, he has more consistent thing, but Fono has more consistent damage. I feel like, personally, the argument between Dark Fono being the best is not really relevant at all, because, uh, yeah, he also, the better than Matama, I very much disagree with because Matama, she can keep her uptime for a very long time. All you need is like a slow medium combo and her it's guaranteed she's gonna keep it up. It doesn't matter. They're slowed forever. They're never they're basically just gonna be stuck at one speed forever. They're never gonna basically move. It's not like because if you don't understand how slow works, it's not like it completely stops you from moving and you're just in place. You're still moving. It's just extremely slow. You're just not moving. You're barely moving. So it's like you're not you're like moving a stuff. It's like the it's like the speed of the face. You're not really moving. But they can still hit your face. It's just like Matama can keep the enemies in place longer. The only issue with Matama is curse immune is like the curse problem and trailer's problem. That's it. That's all Matama has. That's all Fono has over Matama. He has range over Matama. But Matama also does have hairs. She has a rather good DBS considering what she her what her value is. Which is crowd controlling. Her her dan her her four K DPS isn't a bad thing because when you think about it, Masaha is to like I think six hundred fifty. That is an insanely huge range, and I've used her before. She manages to always hit there. It doesn't matter with the four K DPS. She does rather good chipping damage. She's actually not a bad unit. I have used her mul on multiple occasions just to try to get rid of the units that don't want her to chip. She's a really, really good unit. Also, I need an LD. Please give me an LD game. I need to, I just need some sort of good LD unit. Also, I do plan to go for a few legend rares. If I'm gonna consider a legend rare, uh, on the list would probably be, uh, 
that one legendary. What is it? Legaluga. I will probably go for her because she's like one of the few legendaries where I feel like, oh, you have her. You're kind of secure. Also, can 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 please get her? Please. Come on, come on, come on, hit. That was nowhere near enough damage to Can. This is not enough. I'm not, I'm not gonna die. You're not gonna kill me, and I'm not gonna die. Okay, Can Can got knocked back. Okay, she got survivability though. Here, just hit, and then bam. One's dead. We need to stack another one. Stack another one. Ugh. There, we got another one down. Okay, ready? We're gonna get that other one down. And we're gonna hit this one with a Terran, and she should deal some chipper damage. And obviously, Can 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 murder because Can Can is good. I don't consider banning any super rares uh, or specials or anything. Those are not goals because those are completely different units. Ubers are the main focus because Ubers are a thing in game like if you have the Uber, you're going to use it. I feel like this is specifically for other people. I feel like a lot of people still, even though like you compare it to 2021, people are still using top tier units. Like there are there is like no gameplay with them. They're either using a top tier unit that's a collab. Either way, they're using a top tier unit. And being honest, I'm banning those units because those units are way too good. Like I don't, I'm obviously there's certain like collapse I will ban. Princess Punt, I feel like it's a collab I will ban because all the units in there are medial, like they're at the spot where they're like not they're not absolutely horrible, but they're not absolutely good. They're just meh. They're just eh. They're like, yeah, you get like the best one you get is the ship punt. A princess ship, but princess ship has like really, really mediocre damage for her. Weight. It's not the greatest. She's ma she's mainly just used to be sent out for money. That's my thought on her personally. She's mainly to be used to just sent out for money. Which honestly, I don't mind. So can we please just win now? Okay, punts go. Pew pew pew. Get her out. Uh. Disgusting hmm. Yeah, you know what's also disgusting? The fact that I haven't finished the stage. Oh, goodness. Can we please just continue? There's no other rant I really have to talk about, so honestly, just go through this stage well. I probably already finished it. Da 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 There we go. I, s I need you rasses so badly. <sighs> Why don't I have Jurassic? Mm, okay, just hit the, with the meat shield. The meat shield should kill. Can we like, please? Okay, Kai's doing work. She's just standing there with her carrot. I don't know how a carrot knows damage so well. This stage is just not, not fun at all. So that's why I'm not really going to talk. SOL progress has actually been going really well for this one, surprisingly. I don't know why, but it's actually going bad. It's not going too bad. Um, I'm just trying to grind out uh, as much as I can. I just don't really want to do other crowns until, un unless it was the first stage, I don't want to do the crowns until I finish, uh, until I get an LD unit that can actually hit Fargo and Ant Eater, then I am not about to do that. That means, like, no Bimigo will be needed. Something desperate will be needed, because, my goodness, I can Thinking about it, I might actually end up rolling on a Uberfest just to get like an LB pop. 
possibility in an ult unit or a really long range unit that can actually hit. I mainly just want no B, but I'll take anything else. Uh, can we not die, please? Okay, they're getting both. They're both getting juggled. Okay, Terran might be able to deal with these. Knockback. Yeah, Terran is not doing anything. Twin Stars are just... Their attacks are insanely fast. These, these guys are nothing for Twin Stars. Twin Stars are just beating them up. They're existing. Kai's been actually taking a lot of damage in. Like, recently, I've, as I've been experimenting with these girls, like Twist... Kai's just been taking damage, but she doesn't serve. She doesn't have like enough health to be able to withstand enough pressure from these units. And I don't know if you know this, but basically what happens when you get treasures is that it doesn't increase your stats at all. Instead, it weakens. But the reason they do the multiplier is because it's like it. I guess it makes more sense. Like if you're just comparing health, it's not going to be like weakened if you get treasures. And they're like, if you have treasures, this is their actual health. They're not going to do that for everything. So they do a multiplier instead to make it easier for themselves. So basically, it weakens the enemy's stats so you can withstand more pressure. So if you had like a level one unit versus a uh, dark doge at 10%, right? It would be equivalent when you get treasures to a dark doge at like pretty much almost. I'm pretty sure, no, no, like 12%, let's say 12% doctors. A level one meat shield versus that would be able to take a few hits. But if the, the if like a 12% dark doge, you got treasures from, it deals two times less damage, basically. So you deal slightly more damage than you should, right? So basically, they would only be a 6% dark doge, technically. That's how it works. So let's say it's a thousand percent uh, floating bun bun. Then, in uh, the, the, the terms, it would actually be just a technically a 500%, which wouldn't be that bad, honestly. So, that, it just basically takes it down a notch. So, it's not difficult to kill them. And generally, a thousand percent isn't really that strong, especially for bun buns. Generally, I feel like the most threatening bun bun I've gone against is probably like a maybe a 5,000%. That's that's that wasn't really even that threatening because you just use mainly Cody anti floating that can instantly murder and you're fine. Oh, there goes Kai. Glad the sloth has really slow attack rates, because this thing in early game is really problematic. It's just like so tanky and it never dies, and then it deals like insane damage to all your units. Late game, I'm gonna be saying, damn, this guy's just a money grab. Can we please just get that base down to where it is? Is it like, oh, it's two per thousand. Hello? The enemy living. Oh my gosh. Oh my. That is sad. Oh, I didn't even realize. I realized before this, I had an alt because I was testing to see if I could get a good alt just so that I could record this. I had an alt with no beluga in it. It had Santa Ku. It had Yule Tide Nurse. It had Holy Copper Mine. And it had, uh, who else did it have? It had like four... And Frosty Kai. Why didn't I keep that? I could have waited until the guaranteed. I got all those before the freaking guarantee roll. Yeah, I could have waited before. And I didn't even do the guarantee. I didn't even wait. Like, that's insane. The fact I didn't even wait. And the fact I just got rid of this. Like, bruh. No B Lugo would have been a huge carry. Especially for this hand here. And it's something I really want now. That I really freaking need. That I do not have at all. I don't even have it. So it's really difficult trying to freaking get one unit that just will carry the fuck out of you. Anyways, um, I think we're gonna actually end up just deleting this base real quick. Bonk. Oh, that's perfect. This is actually a perfect great and This is a copy of that one stage, except it adds more variants. Frontier Spirit, uh, this was, I think, the Lucosum and Desert, right? Uh, that one. Oh, gosh. We specifically need... I feel like we need summer variants for, uh, Elemental Pixies. We don't have any, like, other variants of Elemental Pixies, which is weird, because there should be a variant of Elemental Pixies. Like, Blizzard should have been the winter variant this year. 
along with Cross the Castle Flame. They could, they kind of went lazy this year because last year they had Terra, which is interesting. But, yeah, I actually saw Terra and before she even released, before the up, basically before she even released. So I knew that like by just looking at updates before even looking. No, I think it was like right when the update released. I was like, oh, it's Reindeer Terra and she's coming. She's really good. Uh, no, she isn't. She's okay. She's okay. It's like on paper, she looks good. She's just okay. It's like her 4K DPS can come in handy for her range. Her cooldown is kind of worth it. But at the same time, like against her targets, she doesn't really do much. She generally will die, but rather quickly considering the, her targets. Um, and that's because, a, a, and I mentioned this already, blacks will easily overwhelm her, and aliens will just delete her. It's, it's not a really good I guess her range could come in handy for the game, so I definitely did need them. Surprisingly, all these Galaxy Gals, like all the Galaxy Gals that are at least releasing the banner, or even just the banner in general, has some rather quick cooldown units. Like they all, like a lot of this, like specifically the Winter Gal season, seasonal banner has a lot of quick down, cool quick down, cooldown units. Like it's always like 60 seconds or below, except for Nurse. Uh, that, that's really weird, but sure, I will take that. At least so far. I felt like if they gave her massive damage, she would have gotten good enough. But I feel like they should have just retained the slow and savage blow. They should have just added knockback onto her. And, uh, they should have just retained that savage blow. And she would have been really good. But Terran isn't too broken. Like, just the, comparing her to the original, she isn't too broken. It's like, the main appeal about Terran that makes her really good is her quick cooldown and really cheap cost. That's it. That's mainly it. And her fat, her rather fast sacker, although she has a slow animation. It's like, it's, it's like comparing her to a death warrior. It's not a big deal if death warrior misses because death warrior has such a quick forward swing or such a quick back swing that it just goes back and like, oh, and then it hits again. It's not like, it's not like I see why people say he's bad. But at the same time, I don't really understand why he's so bad against Akus because he has so much damage. He can easily retain some really good damage against them. This is floating. She has rather decent, like, I'm impressed they even added her. Sure, her stats for an anti floating and alien, she can easily dominate Meta. But uh, honestly, uh, Wendy now. Our ha uh, it's, her fourth form is so broken. It's so broken. There is no reason for you to give her insane damage. If they do the same treatment to Thundia, I wouldn't say she would get any near. For bosses, yes. But for just general red targeting, no. Courier still takes a spot for that. Because Courier, if Courier ends up getting talents, he might end up getting Wave and Surge immunity, which would be some hopeful thinking here. He'll probably never get that. He'll probably get Wave Resist. But they might give him resistance or something. Something that helps him tank more, which would be pretty insane for her. He'd actually be a really, really, really good unit. He's already really broken. We need even be better, and it'd be stupid. Like, Thundia, I could imagine her insane damage becoming slightly height, slightly more height. But I, like, okay, the main appeal with Wendy is the fact she not only has insane damage, but he, she has a absolutely phenomenal strengthen. So if she strengthens, right she deals like 50 percent extra damage she's dealing like a million 1.2 million damage at level 60 against floating which is like one of the most insane stats you can have for an anti-floating that's just stupid like why do they add why do they give her like a full why do they even add four forms bonk 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 there he's gone we're fine what's over here oh, oh no 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 again you so much. There's two of them. It's gonna make it worse because I'm gonna have to deal with both. Their attack rates are kind of slow still, so it's gonna be harder to deal with, which is not good for me. So, her Kai failed her job. There's three of them. I need LD. This stage is trash. Why don't they stop spawning? No. Go away. Okay, we're just gonna use twin stars. Use twin stars. Come on, twin stars. You can do it. You can do it. You can survive the wave of danger over here. Hit the base. Hit them, twin stars. Go. Ugh. Jeez, the stage. This stage sucks. Oh my gosh. Oh, finally. I've 
stage is trash. We're leaving. I hate this. That juvenile killer is the worst stage I've ever played in my life. That stage sucks. The seal. Okay. Thank you. We win. We win. I said we win. Oh, twins are bad. Murder the base and delete the base, please. Thank you. A feather. Whoa! A feather, people! A feather! Oh, these stages are just getting slightly more expensive as we go. It's eventually where I'm gonna need, like, treasures just to hold up on the stupid energy. Specifically those energy treasures where you get it quicker, because that would be nice so I can actually do things quicker. I wonder why I have Dragon Ball Legends just in the background, basically in terms of like how I play because uh, that just holds up everything. Oh, we're gonna get third twin stars. Yes, it's exactly what I want. Third, go. Twin stars has been just carry. Just, I would say she's a straight up carry in early game. Like this lady, the girl, this girl puts up a lot of work, especially for what, she's definitely like, I feel like she's definitely one of the selection of seasonals that I recommend you start with. But people don't really use her, so that's why I'm using her. It's like. Okay, if a unit is popular and everybody knows about it, and it's used constantly, those are units I ban. So that's that's kind of the conception. That's why I actually ban Almighty's because I there is not a single person who doesn't use an Almighty. There's not a single person who doesn't use an Almighty. That's just the thing that nobody doesn't use Almighty's. Almighty's are always and always will be used. They always have been, always will be. Kind of thing. It's like everybody I have seen just uses them. Up, so they are banned because er it doesn't even matter which one it is. People still use Zeus to this day. I still people, I still see people use Zeus. I still see people talk about him because he has ultra talents. He's he's somewhat decent, you know that kind of thing. I actually kind of want to see what a fourth form Almighty would look like. Probably never. They'll probably never add it because the thing is with fourth forms, it has to be a unit that's really old to the game and has become really irrelevant. It's either they're, it might be this way where they're either just gonna get talents or they're gonna get ultra forms. Ultra forms are based off, like, Duranus wasn't really, like, was ex I'll still be using Duranus because Duranus is really He was extremely mediocre before true, or before fourth form. So that's why they gave him And ultra talents were not helping him so far. So that's basically what he just searched out. He has, like, such low that's why they just like, oh man. Oh, this thing's doing so too. I want to say it's even more much. I, Kai, Kai's there. Right where I need her. Perfect. Okay. No, no. Yes, 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 yes. We're pushing. We're pushing. We win. I need an LD unit so badly because of this. This is definitely happening. I guess I'm gonna end it here though. Oh, uh, there's nothing really to say, so see ya!